Hi guys, I like telling stories, so I'm going to tell one story and then I have to go. This is about dog bite prevention and it's an educational video. It's something that children and adults have to hear this and parents of young children. I am not a parent. I don't have children. I am a puppy parent though, but I don't consider myself a human parent. Thank you. So. Let's get on with it. I remember the day I bought a dog from a pet store. This was a while back. It was about 2001, I, 2002, I believe, I bought a pet from the pet store. It was nine weeks when I brought him home. It was a boy. He was an English cocker. Freckles. I named him Cracker. That's the name for the dog. Cannot say who owned him because the owner is making it confidential. Then one day, Cracker got loose once and got hit by a car. And the woman who hit him with a car drove off. And I carried him home. He was cut and bleeding. So I took him to the vet. Cost a lot in vet bills. To wear a cone-shaped collar for a bit. Then he was fine. And then afterward, we moved. I went to somewhere in Ontario. I cannot say it's confidential, private location, we'll say. How about we call it the private location? The first dog bite came from a child walking into our garage, just looking around the garage. Cracker wasn't having any of it, so Cracker went in the garage and bit the child. And the child ran home and told the mother, and the mother got nasty with me. I told her that I was going to prevent it as much as possible. So, that ended up getting a bad rap. Second dog by injury was a man with a buggy which is a baby print. That caused the city of Ottawa at our door. It's not good, the city at our door. I can't say where. He had to be on house arrest wearing a muzzle. I hate muzzles. He didn't like it, he wanted to take it off. We go for a walk, I told people no I don't want kids petting my dog. I am not comfortable with it. I don't know the results. And I can't guarantee what would happen if a child did pet my dog. I can't guarantee their safety. So I'm not always around. Okay. So people got nasty and they get, oh, why? I didn't have to give an explanation. I just took the dog and walked away. I had problems with people petting Cracker. And one day, kids started teasing Cracker. I told him to stop, and he ran up and nipped them. So he bit uh, 12 people, then I never saw him again. He had to get put to sleep after he bit 12 people, and most of the people he bit were children under the age of 10. And I was very sad because he got destroyed. Now I don't allow people to pet my dog because I don't want to take the risk. So this is how you're going to prevent it happening. 77% of people and children under the age of 10, children live with families who have dogs. 77% of those children are bitten every year by a dog or a friend's dog. 
please do not pet a strange dog. I am warning people because a strange dog has teeth and they can attack and they can hurt. So don't pet strange dogs. Not a good idea. This story is just a warning story. So, I was crying. I couldn't sleep that night. I put him to sleep. We had to take him to the vet and humane him. We euthanize him. So he got put to sleep at the vet. I wasn't allowed in the room with him to say goodbye. That bothered me. The fact is, 77% of children are bitten, or people, any age, but most likely children, are bitten by a dog of a family or a friend. Please don't pet a strange dog. Never pet anyone's dog. House dog or strange dog, still a strange dog. Do not pet people's dog. I am warning you because this story might make you rethink petting a dog. You might think it's fine till the day you get bit. Watch your children around dogs. They are going to sit on a dog. It's not going to like it. They're just being polite going along with it. One day you won't be there to watch your child and the dog will bite. They have teeth. Even the most behaved and well-trained dogs bite. Even the most lovable, friendly dog bites. A dog has teeth. Do not sit on a dog. They're not a horse or a pony. Also, it's bad for their hips to sit on them. They're not made for sitting on. Couches are made for sitting on. You can sit on a couch. But a dog is different. They have teeth. And 77% of people are bitten every year by a dog. But the 77% of the people bitten by a dog are children under the age of 10. Even 10-year-olds don't go sitting on a dog. They've probably been told by their parents not to pet strange dogs. But what if that chance is done? So be careful with your children around dogs. I know it's hard to say, but don't let your child hug, kiss, or sit on your dog. It's not going to go down well for you or the dog. Safety education first. Never let a stranger pet your dog or any dog, even a service dog. Don't pet People's dog, pet your own. Even then, be careful. Don't pet any dog if you're afraid.